you so much. Lisa, that was amazing. Thank you. So tell us about that song and tell us about that amazing looking instrument. Okay. So that was actually an improvisation. So I just kind of play what came to my mind. Yeah, it's good sometimes to be spontaneous, you know. Um, so this violin, this is an electric violin. It's a five string. It's called a viper because of the shape. It's, a, it's like a V and it's made by Mark Wood. He's an awesome violinist. And pretty much the cool thing about this is that it kind of holds itself onto my body so I don't have to hold it so I could like be free, you know, <laughs> and move my arms. And uh, it has a fifth string so I'm able to go lower and I'm able to harmonize so much better with an extra string. How would you describe your musical style? Because it's almost like nothing I've ever heard before. Good. <laughs> um, well, I have many influences. I started playing classical, but I kind of, my heart, because I'm from Colombia, and my heart always wanted to play other types of music that wasn't really classical. And that playing in orchestra, I wasn't allowed to play. So I started just exploring, you know, and uh, it's a mixture of like Mexican traditional music that has a lot to do with violin. Also a lot of the Brazilian stuff from the north has a lot of violin. And then just with like the urban stuff that I hear. So you won a Grammy, which must have been um, It was a nomination, a Latin nomination. Grammy nomination, yes. And what was that for? Um, I play with a old girl mariachi band. It's called Mariachi Flor de Toloache, and this was our first album that got nominated, and it was the only indie band in the category, so it was quite the... Yeah, it was That's quite great. a thing, yeah. What's your favorite type of song to play? Um, I like everything that... When it has a lot of you know fast parts, I definitely enjoy that. When did you begin to learn the violin? I was 14. Okay. Yeah, so I started very late. Because when I was in Colombia, I wanted to play violin, but they told me that I didn't have the attitude to play violin, so that I should play clarinet. So I played clarinet for a year, and I was so unhappy. <laughs> and it was when I moved here to New York that I was able to play violin, so you still play clarinet at all, or no? Uh, I have it, but I don't really play. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah, we'll have that on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you mentioned you were improvising a lot in that first song. Mm -hmm. How do you approach that? Are you thinking of a particular mood? Is there a message when you're improvising? Totally, there's, there's a mood. Like, I, on my way here, I thought I was going to do something completely different from what it actually came out to be. Um, and so yeah, it's, it has to do with the mood. Um, also, like for me, is what kind of melodies are kind of just ringing in my head, you know? And then if I hear something, then I just want to like to play it. Are you always hearing music in your head? Yes. You are. Yeah. What is that like? Oh man, it's very busy. <laughs> I used to get in trouble in school because I couldn't like keep quiet. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, the fact the fact that the violin is is not supported by your hand. Um, does that make it less tiring to play? Or are you yeah, like totally. That's what this violin is so interesting. And the success of this is that you could play and you, could, you don't have a lot of crampings on your neck and in your hands. Because I playing violin, I got a lot of tendonitis and I couldn't play for like almost a year. So this made it so much easier. It's like it's, a, it's an OSHA approved violin. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm really curious who, what musical artists you consider influences for your own style. Oh man, I like John Luc Ponty, of course. He's ridiculous. Like his stuff that I hear, it sounds like it's music from now, but that's like from back, you know, <laughs> years ago. Um, I listen to a lot of hip hop. You know, I like Kendrick Lamar. Uh -huh. I listen to the old Fugees. A lot of classical music still, you know, yeah. Tchaikovsky, Beethoven, Dvorak, all that stuff. And a lot of traditional Mexican, actually, from the Huasteca music that is all violin, just wow. fiddling. Yeah. What does hip hop sound like on a violin? Can you give oh, us that of course. I could do a little bit. So you could. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's like what's next for you? 
Oh man, a lot of a lot of stuff. I've been working on a lot of tracks, and I do a lot of video editing and video production. That that's really what I'm. Which I edit my own stuff because a lot of the stuff that I would like to get done, I can't really afford those people. <laughs> so then I started learning to edit and do my own color correction and all that stuff. So I have right now I have three videos out, and it's a series of five that they are you know just little like pieces of visual audio movement stuff that I have. Where do people see it? Um, they could check it out on my website, which is luisabastidas.com. And you're going to play another song for us, I think? What are we about to hear? Yes.